Apostolic Christian Assembly, Perambu Ministries welcomes you for Thought for the Night Devotion. God bless you as you prayerfully listen to this brief devotion. Greetings to you this evening in the trustworthy name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God's word is all that we need in our lives. Within its pages we find comfort, strength and guidance for every situation in life. But if we choose to live without the word of God, our lives will never have the assurance of God's promises to help us through the hard times that we go through in life. If ever we need to rely on God's word, it is today. When faced with life's uncertainties, it should lead us to cry out to God, asking Him for the wisdom, courage and obedience to do what is right. For our devotion this evening, let us read Psalm 11 and verse 1. In the Lord put I my trust. I will say to my soul, free as a bird to your mountain. David was familiar with difficult situations in life, and through them all he learned to trust in the Lord his God. When he faced Goliath, his confidence was not in himself, but in the faithfulness of his God. When King Saul became jealous of David and tried to kill him on several occasions, David fled for his life, but it was God who protected him and preserved him. Psalm 11 gives us a glimpse into David's heart at a time when his world was falling apart. When everything is crumbling beneath us, we must remember that God's word is our sure foundation. No matter what we face in life, the word of God assures us that we are children of God and he has promised to see us through every difficult moment in life. This doesn't mean we won't experience suffering or disappointments, but the Lord walks with us every step of the way. His word is our compass and guidebook for every hardship, heartache and problem. As long as we follow his instructions, we will be able to face every difficult situation in life. David likened his foundation to that of a building. If a house is to last, it must be built on a strong foundation. Otherwise, it will begin to crumble and the house will fall apart. In the same way, when our foundation is weak, we cannot endure. Our foundation should be built on the faithfulness of God and the power of His Word. How should we respond when we face the difficulties in life? We need to turn to God. Like David, we can choose to say, In the Lord I take refuge. This means we place our confidence in God and become attentive to His voice. He has given us unshakable, absolute truth in His word. When we place our trust in what He has said, we will receive stability and direction for our lives. Don't run away from your problem that you face in life. That reveals lack of faith that you have in God. Instead of trying to run away from your difficulties, we should run to God. I believe when the storms of life hit us, our immediate response should be to run to the Lord God and we can find shelter amidst the storms of life. He is all-powerful and knows all our struggles and needs. There is no stronger or safer refuge than the Almighty God. He loves us and intends for us to stand strong, firm and true in the midst of hardships, suffering and loss, knowing that He is trustworthy. The foundations of a physical world may crumble and we could lose every possession we own. But we need to remember that God is all sufficient to carry us through every difficult moment in our walk with God. How does God respond when we turn to Him? The Lord places us under His divine protection. When we are in a right relationship with Him and walking in obedience and submission to Him, He determines the limits of our trial and suffering. This doesn't mean He will remove all pain and trouble from our lives, but He guards us through every difficult moment in life. Nothing is beyond His control and He is ready to hear our concern and request when we come to Him in prayer. Whatever our need may be, He has provided assurances and promise in His Word. The Lord sees and knows everything, and He uses every trial to test us. We have no reason to fear evil because we are secure in our fellowship with the Lord God. David says, What time I am afraid, I will trust in Him. The Lord expects us this evening to trust Him 100%. No matter what our circumstances may be, we can believe God because he is faithful. It may seem that he is inactive, but he is not. When situations get worse, he is not sitting in heaven and doing nothing, but he will show himself strong for his children at the right time. Therefore, instead of running away, we should learn to run to him, wait upon him, and seek his direction in the difficult moments of life. When the foundations around us crumble, it's time to look within ourselves, asking the Lord to reveal any sin in our lives, then we must confess it and repent by making a determined choice to turn away from that sin and to the Lord God. If we don't deal with our sins, they will end our prayers 
Only after our lives are right before God, we can experience God working on our behalf. Dear child of God, whatever may be the situation you are going through at this very moment, remember, the God of David is our God. The Lord God who protected and preserved David is faithful to protect us and preserve us from every difficult situation in life, provided you can trust in Him. The Lord God who has called you, He never changes, is an ever faithful God. Commit your life to God this evening and you can experience the faithfulness and the greatness of God in your life. May God bless you. May God be with you. Amen.